Hello everyone, my name is Tural Dunyamaliyev and I represent the uh, State Examination Center of the Rep Republic of Azerbaijan. I uh, will talk about how we implement because we'll talk about how we implement uh, Moodle system in our day-to-day ex -day examinations. Uh, and, but I will not give detailed information about how we use Moodle. I will just show uh, where and uh, what do we do with the Moodle, which exams we use. Let's start with introduction of our country. Uh, Azerbaijan uh, is situated in the uh, source of uh, Caucasus, west of Caspian Sea. We have a population of over 10 million people and uh, our capital city is Baku and we have 86.6 thousand kil square kilometers territory. And the name well, Azerbaijan uh, comes from the word Azer, Azer which means fire and uh, this uh, name is used in our uh, uh, this name was used by fire worshippers in our country and uh, our ancient people in the country were fire worshippers because of this we have used uh, our name of the country is also Azerbaijan is related with the fire Baku has been symbolized by the eternal fire fire due to natural gas flames that occur in the area uh, the Ateşçah monument is uh, an ancient uh, site related to these fires, uh, contributing to Azerbaijan's global recognition as the uh, land of fires. Uh, and uh, Azerbaijan is actively involved in, in major energy pro uh, projects, uh, particularly in oil and gas extraction from the Caspian Sea. Uh, by leveraging these resources, Azerbaijan has created new economic model and became a crucial player in energy markets. Azerbaijan plays a pivotal role in expanding political and trade relations between Europe and Asia. It has con uh, contributed significantly to the development of the Caucasian uh, transport uh, uh, cor corridor. Uh, let's start with uh, State Ex Examination Center. Uh, our main job is organizing examinations and acro across various educational and professional domains in Azerbaijan. Uh, we uh, bo provide both uh, paper-based exams and electronic-based exams. And we have created uh, infrastructure for electronic exams. Uh, as you can see, a picture of our uh, electronic exam rooms and our building for that room, for that uh, electronic exams. The State Examination Center uh, uh, of Republic of Azerbaijan is responsible for uh, following tests, conducting the final uh, assessment of students at the general uh, education, selecting uh, personnel for civil service, uh, construct, uh, conducting student examinations to higher and sec secondary educational uh, institutions, preparatory groups at the undergraduate level, regardless of the organization, uh, organizational, legal and ownership form. Uh, the government uh, bodies of the center at the super uh, the, co the governing bodies of the center are the supervisory board and the management board. State exam center conducts both paper based and electronic based examinations and it performs around uh, five uh, five hundred exams yearly with uh, approximately one uh, million to hundred thousand candidates taking them. Uh, uh, State examination center actively utilizes. Moodle uh, learning management system uh, to conduct various type of examinations for uh, only electronic examinations. Uh, uh, these are some of the exam exams we uh, conduct on Moodle. Uh, like for some civil, we uh, we have uh, different uh, civil serv service programs. Like uh, first is civil service entrance exams for. General, generally all the civil servants, and then we have uh, special uh, civil service, uh, which are, for example, Minister of Justice, space, uh, State Migratory Service, Notary Chamber, Bar Associations, and other uh, special uh, civil service organ institutions. So we do exams for uh, them, and this is also on Moodle. Then we have exams for uh, teachers for ch children of music, art, painting, uh, Muram Ashik School and other centers. Then exams for taxi, uh, uh, 
international uh, passenger transportation and uh, international cargo transportation drivers. And uh, uh, we have master and PhD entrance examinations, but we don't use for master and PhD examinations have uh, multiple steps. We only use uh, Moodle on some of the step, steps, not all of the steps of uh, the examination uh, uh, and other exams that you, uh, uh, we have also other exams like online exams, not electronic exams that are taken in, in, in from their homes like Yuselish uh, contest and Oteka as uh, we will talk about them later in the presentation. Uh, the examination process, like I want to give general information about the examination process. So the are to to easily uh, for the convenience of the uh, students or the people we have created a website services uh, uh, for our exams like a user can enter, uh, a person can enter to our website and see all the exams that uh, uh, all registration for all the exam when will it will be held when the exam starts and all the Test uh, information, test programs, and other information about the exam itself, and when the exam will be held, and what kind of questions will be given, and uh, they can easily uh, uh, they can easily use this information, and after registering for the exam, they want to take uh, uh, okay. uh, after take uh, okay <laughs> we have. Uh, five minutes so I will uh, talk briefly about everything uh, after uh, registering and seeing all the information they have there and the, they come to uh, our this admission paper to our building and they, they just uh, enter to our building and they don't uh, need to have any information about the, uh, themselves they just need their identity card and they enter uh, seated on the computer they need to take the exam and just after this they follow the instruction of the exam and uh, after the fi finishing exam they get var various reports and the, oh, like in the picture uh, at the right you can see result report uh, for the student we generate and after the exam all the information about all the exams are stored in our website and uh, candidates uh, students can see their all, all their previous exam results and what will uh, and uh, future exams in our in our site administering exams uh, here we have built several uh, programs for administering exams like uh, uh, for the rooms for the all the processes as you know model system is a big system and uh, language management system but uh, we use exam part of the model generally for the exam so we have to create uh, we had to create some systems to control the Moodle and uh, and enter information about the students and all uh, information about uh, item bank questions and all all those this from our uh, from our uh, existing system so that we can uh, conduct uh, exams so these are the picture of some of the uh, uh, our uh, uh, administrative programs that uh, our administrators use uh, to control the exam i will not uh, give details because we have we don't have too much time then uh, the in, we have created a, a system uh, we have uh, created a building and const, uh, 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 that use sync lines uh, as a computers for the students and uh, and uh, they use different. Uh, we use different uh, infrastructural, uh, technological, and uh, allows that control the exams and uh, buildings. Like in the new future, we uh, we want to uh, introduce multimedia technologies and stational tasks to our exams application, and also we want uh, application of artificial artificial intelligence in the assessment and uh, of writing and speaking skills. Uh, right now we use uh, on, only uh, teachers uh, uh, are allowed to end, uh, mark and grade the as writing and speaking uh, skills questions but in the future we want to uh, do it by using AI like uh, 
for example, half of the questions will be, uh, be graded by the AI, and uh, uh, the, half, uh, the other half will be graded by the teachers, and we'll, we want to compare it, uh, how AI uh, do, does it, and, uh, and introduce it to our grading system. And we also uh, do, uh, okay, let's continue. And uh, as we are a, a governmental organization and also a test exam center, we, we have uh, international relations with various organizations across the globe. As you can see, some of those organizations here, and also we have uh, relations with uh, the ETS, uh, Pearson, and other uh, examination uh, institutions across the globe. And we are also certified uh, test centers for them. Okay. This, uh, let's pass this. I talked about it. Uh, this is a picture of how we, uh, we we have item bank information for, for our questions, and we use this uh, questions from uh, for, uh, this item bank for our paper based examination. But uh, in uh, uh, but for Moodle, we cannot uh, export this normally, so, so we have to do it by hand manually. Enter into the Moodle, but uh, to uh, bypass this problem, we have created our own software that uh, gets the inform uh, all the questions from item banks and it trans transfers uh, it to Moodle XML format so that our Moodle can, uh, we can uh, insert this information is this questions to Moodle easily. Also, we have a usage competition which is uh, for the, uh, is aimed at selecting and developing talented individuals in Azerbaijan. It takes place every year and attracts more than uh, 15,000 participants annually. Finalists of such competition go on to hold prestigious po positions in the public and private sectors of the country. State Examination Center uh, plays significant role in preparing uh, items and assessment tools for... <laughs> okay, finish. And uh, for the last part, it's Oteca portal. Uh, uh, we have uh, exams, online exams for uh, for them, and also we have uh, courses there for for the people uh, for, for that uh, exams. And we have uh, two hundred thousand users across Azerbaijan for the portal for, uh, in the Moodle system. And that's all for for now. It was a brief. <laughs> we we didn't have too much time, so I I only briefly. Uh, showed what we, how we use model on, in our systems in Azerbaijan. Thank you, everyone. Okay, so we have time for one quick question. Yeah. Hi, good morning. Uh, my name is Seker Moses. I'm from the University of. Hello. Yes. Hello. Uh, yes. Uh, thank you for this wonderful presentation. I have a couple of questions, though one yes. question was quickly. Um, they built a examination center. Uh, you built an examination center, state examination center, to cater to 200,000 users, something like that, one of your slides said. But what about using uh, remote proctoring solutions? Or did you consider that? Because you did say that you are planning to use AI to uh, to create questions in the near future. So remote proctoring solutions are assisted by AI, as you know. Uh, the question is, I mean, um, 200,000 users within the capital or uh, across the country, people come there and uh, use the examination center? Uh, 200,000. OK, thank you. Uh, for the question, uh, 200,000 people are for online uh, questions like these are not uh, high stakes exams. These are for uh, like uh, uh, checking their knowledge and this is not used for the real exams. So they, uh, they are used it from their homes. Uh, it's, uh, it's not for the test centers themselves. They, they use this Oteca as in, uh, in their homes and uh, check their knowledge uh, and see courses there. Uh, it's not for uh, for the exams themselves. For the exams, we, we do exams only uh, paper-based and uh, uh, the other part is electronic exams. In electronic exams, we have only uh, uh, for 1,000 uh, 
Uh, right now we have uh, for 1,000 uh, computers across uh, our country, but for the future we want to uh, increase this number to uh, 20,000 uh, computers and uh, do, is, do it across the country. And why we don't use uh, proctoring exams for our uh, general exam? Because uh, all the exams are high-stakes exams and uh, because of that, and something cannot be checks manually in the uh, proctoring programs. Like uh, there are a lot of ways for people to cheat if they are at home. Like they can just use small cameras on their uh, buttons or like and use uh, uh, speakers and microphones or other technologies to just, if you, can, if you don't change, uh, check them manually uh, by uh, some uh, uh, detectors, uh, you cannot do this from home. They can easily uh, cheat in the exams. So we don't use uh, proctoring exams. We use proctoring for uh, small exams that are not high-stake exams. Okay. Uh, 